didn't want to raise children like that. I wanted someone who understood me 100%, where I didn't have to explain anything about myself, who understood my my patwa, my lingo. Pan African lifestyle. Welcome to Pan African Lifestyle, where we rep the motherland. We post content regularly and invite you to subscribe and share if you're a pal. That's a Pan African Lifestyler. My wife is black, okay? Back in the 90s, 80s, 90s, yeah, I'm that old. I dated, I dated whoever I, I liked women, yeah? And it didn't matter to me if they were black, white, mixed race. It didn't matter. If I like somebody, I like them back in them days. Um, so I went out with white, I went out with mixed race, went out with black. I married a black woman. So why did, why did I? decide to marry a black woman one of my friends from school was shocked when he saw my wife he goes you know something i always thought you'd married a white girl you know i was shocked when i saw your wife okay my wife's black so i married her because yeah i loved her so why did i ask her and not one of my white girlfriends because my wife is like me same culture of west indian background i'm guyanese born in Britain, born in London, she's Jamaican born in London, right? So we rib each other, we joke each other about Jamaican and Guyanese, these kind of, West Indians have these kind of running joke with each other all the time. And she understand, she understood me, whereas I remember, I'll give you two examples of the two white girls I went out with. One of them was always asking me questions about myself, about being black, about my culture. She was very curious, which is nice, but she didn't fully understand so she wanted to understand there's nothing wrong in that I, I commend her for that this other girl white girl I went out with was the complete opposite she didn't want to know nothing she would change the subject she would um, if I, if you talk about something she, I remember her saying to me why is it everything you talk about is black that's what she said to me in a laughing kind of way but, did you know what they call black people in those days? And she goes, no, what did they call black people? I said, um, what they call them, Negroes? I said, no, this was before Negro. They called black people Moors. Um, and then she goes, why is it every day you got to talk about black? And I said, I'm just showing you something in the film. He's a Moor. That's what they called them in them days, Moors. They didn't call them black or Negro. Because the Moors were a very respected people. Oh, that's how she got. Oh, there you go again. Always black, black, black. So this would start arguments between us because as far as she was concerned, I was exaggerating this black thing. Getting stopped by police was an exaggeration because none of her brothers ever get stopped by police and they must be stopping you for something. So of course they're going to stop them. That's how she spoke. Of course they're going to stop them. So why would they not stop you? Yeah, so these were the conversations. Or she would moan about how much money we'd see an advert come on telly or something and she'd moan about how much money is sent to um, Africa in charity and, and they're all just corrupt anyway they're all just taking our money and I said do you know why Africa is in the state it's in because of Europe because of Europe and I'd start and I remember breaking it down breaking down how over centuries Europe exploited Africa and then she just like change the subject make a joke start laughing so imagine if I had married her and imagine if we had had children and how she would now be raising mixed race children who would be coming to her sometimes say I wasn't there to explain things to them and they'd go to their mother who was in complete denial about anything bad that's happening to them or, or anything they might come back from school and say I think so and so doesn't want me to go to the party because I'm black and the mother would say you're not black you're mixed race stop saying you're black imagine the conflict between me and her because of her attitude whereas the first white girl would be more understanding but I didn't want all that so, so I wanted someone who knew exactly where I was coming from. I wouldn't have to explain about black guys being stopped by police for pushing their bike, being told that you fit a description. This is all things that happened to me. Pushing my bicycle stop. I'm, t I'm told I fit a description of a burger stop. Standing, looking in the shop window and stopped and searched. Police going through my pockets whilst I'm looking in the shop window. I didn't have to explain all that to my wife. My wife had never been stopped by police, but she knew what happened. She knows what happens in a black community. Or if my children came home from school and were iffy, something not right about a teacher how they're treating them my wife would understand that because she knows just like i know 
And we could explain to our children or explain why they haven't been invited to a party of somebody or why so-and-so can't play with them. We could explain it in the best way we could. Whereas I know this for a fact because one of my friends is mixed race and his mother denied everything that he always brought home. She denied, she wanted to know why he's the one who gets stopped. She wanted to know he got in trouble at school. Yeah, but you're not black though, are you? You're mixed race, so why are they picking on you? This is what she said to him one of those women who would say I don't see colour I don't see colour as if that admonishes you from or it cuts, takes away all the feeling that your child is feeling because you don't see colour and as far as you're concerned the rest of the world should not see the colour of your child's skin they should all see your child as your child and they should not discriminate against your child and you deny all the discrimination that is happening to your child because as far as you're concerned your child is not black your child is half of you and the society should see the white half of your child telling you this because I know someone who's been screwed up by it, by the attitude of their mother, with this attitude. So I didn't want to raise children like that. I wanted someone who understood me 100%, where I didn't have to explain anything about myself, who understood my, my patois, my lingo, under, we could hang out in the same clubs and parties and all the experiences of being black and growing up in Britain, they understood 100% weren't in denial of anything, understood the problems that their children might face. That is what that is why I decided that when I wanted to get married and settle down, my wife was gonna be just like me. And when I say just like me, I don't just mean black, I mean black Afro Caribbean. Because even black Africans do not have the same experience as black Afro Caribbeans. So even that's different. I just wanted someone who was the same and, and I didn't have to explain things to so yes, my wife is black. Thanks for tuning in to Pan-African Lifestyle. Share your thoughts in the comment section and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Pan-African Lifestyle to be inspired. For awesome PAL merch, check out Pan-African Lifestyle slash shop. Keep repping the motherland. Pan-African Lifestyle.